So I think Creality just solidified its number one spot in the 3D printing manufacturing space. And here's why. So Bamboo just recently announced some firmware update changes that they were thinking about rolling out later on down the road. And it basically boils down to this. They're talking about locking down their firmware and basically uh, denying permission to certain third party softwares and really just about controlling that firmware where you no longer have the decision of what third party softwares you use, what third party uh, filaments you use and stuff like that. You know, you already paid for the machine and now you basically get bamboo telling you, you know, what you can and can't use. Now it's similar to what HP and Epson and those printer companies did uh, a while back where, you know, you buy the printer and then all of a sudden now, now you can't use third party cartridges that cost half the money and uh, how they conveniently come out with a subscription model where you can buy their ink. You know, you see where I'm going with this, right? And so Bamboo's pretty much doing the same thing. They're basically removing the freedom from its users. And, and that's one of the main reasons why I've always used Creality because they're open source. I can use any slicer I want, you know, and I can throw on mods such as the Nomi V2 or, you know, whatever hot end I choose to use or, you know, maybe a, a different touch screen. I don't like Creality's touch screen. Cool. I can go do another one, you know, and you can mod the printer really to no end with an open source printer. And, you know, it's just with what Bamboo's doing now, I, w I was already making a video on Creality versus Bamboo and how I thought Creality had passed up Bamboo already because let's face it. Bamboo hasn't come out with anything new in Lord knows how long, right? It's been a while. So I know that they have some stuff in the works and it's supposed to be something big. And maybe this is it, you know, maybe it's like, hey, surprise, you guys are about to get shafted, right? <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, whatever, whatever they're about to do isn't great. It's big, but it ain't great, right? So uh, Creality is releasing so many different machines that I just feel like, you know, uh, that they pass bamboo, you know, and, and despite, let, let me stop right here. Cause I know the bamboo lovers are going to chime in in these comments and it's going to get juicy. Right. But listen, um, yes, ba yes, Creality has some issues with the machines. Right. But I think people have a misconception of how big those issues are and how frequent they are. Because yes, if you go on Facebook or, or all these chat groups, you're going to see a bunch of bad stuff because that's the only place you go when you have an issue. Nobody's showing up in a forum. Nobody's showing up on Facebook chat. Nobody's showing up in any on Discord, any of those places like, hey, I just had a great day 3D printing. That doesn't happen. People pop up on those forums when they have an issue. So, yeah, you really don't hear all the cool stories. You don't hear about my K2 that I've had that I bought straight that I bought straight from Creality. I paid full price for it. They didn't give it to me. And it showed up. FedEx, thank God, didn't tear it up. And it's worked from day one. I've never had a single issue other than when the filament, uh, you know, it got hung up on the on the print head in the in the poop chute on it. But that was an issue. That was my fault. You know, that was because I installed a bad uh, poop chute design that just it clogged it, you know, but I, I own that. I'm not going to put it on the printer. Now, what a lot of people do is they, they see an error code on this screen right here, right? And it blows my mind. They see an error code. And before they even really try to do much about it, they're on Facebook. Hey, what's this error code? I don't know what to do. Well, like, did you even try? Because let me tell you something. On this K2, I have had several error codes. But guess what? I hit OK and I keep going and I figure it out. And come to find out it's just, it kicked out a code real quick, but it resolved itself and it's not a big deal. Now, am I saying that Creality doesn't have any issues? No, but they're damn sure not locking down their firmware and basically dictating what their users can and can't do. Creality is super open with everything that you can do. I mean, you can use whatever filaments that you want. You can use whatever slicer you want and you just have the freedom, you know? And so... With what Bamboo has done, they basically just took 10 steps backwards. And for me, Creality was ahead of Bamboo, you know? Now, it wasn't by far because Bamboo's quality is, you know, it puts them up there, right? But for me, it's always been about price point 
and quality. And for me, uh, you know, Creality met both of those to a certain point, right? Now, I was okay with having to tinker a little bit here and there, right? Now, I've never had to do anything to my K2 and my K1 Max, it's always just worked, you know? Now, on the K1 Max, I did have issues. I had bed leveling, but the bed leveling and stuff like that, I, I had to go in there and, and it took me a while to get it, but I got it, right? Now, with the, K, with the, with the bamboo products, yes, you're going to pay a premium price. And yes, you can pull them out of the box and print with them. But I think it was all a facade to get you guys so wowed about it because they had a plan for later. And that plan for later is, I mark my words, it's going to be a subscription model. And that's what it's going to be because that's where the money's going to be at. They're going to lock down their stuff about just like they're talking about doing right now. They're going to lock it down. And then all of a sudden, they're going to have this really cool filament subscription model or this really cool model subscription, you know, like uh, STL Flix or one of those things. You're going to have to start paying for things, you know. So would I ever put myself in that position? No, I would never do that. Uh, you guys can make your own decision. Uh, I'm not saying go with Creality. Just I might be wearing a Creality shirt. I might have all these Creality machines in the background. I'm not telling you to pick Creality. I'm saying that Creality is open source and that's why I enjoy Creality. Now, there are other printers out there that are also open source. I'm saying pick open source. It's not about Bamboo. It's not about Creality. It's not about... FL Sun or any of those, you know, Anchor Make, it's not about that. It's about open source, closed source. It's real simple, you know? And if they're going to close their stuff down, and then if they're going to come back later, after you've already bought the machine, you've already paid for it, and say, oh, hey, wait, we have a surprise, right? Like, who does that, you know? And, and, and if people allow them to do that, I'm really worried what other printer companies are going to do. Now, I've dealt with Creality very closely and, and, and I've, I've done quite a bit of business with them. And do I think that they would do that just because Bamboo gets away with it and no one fights them on it? I really don't because they could have done it a long time ago and they've always chose not to. They've always chose to be open. Now, do I think some people are going to fall right in the footsteps of Bamboo? Yeah, I do. Now, I don't know who, the, who those companies will be, but you know... I can tell you this, I feel like Bamboo just took 10 steps backwards and that they basically just handed the race off to Creality because I don't see any other company. The only other competitor would be Prusa, right? And they're just in a different price bracket and, and, and just a whole different ball game, right? Uh, Prusa is more, you know, their printers are more geared towards a whole nother crowd and Creality is more your entry level and and just hey i want to get a 3d printer well where would you go bamboo creality that's how it's always been right well i think bamboo just basically took their self out of the race you know i do not see how they regain anyone's trust uh after this i mean i'm sure the diehards are gonna stick with them and i get it you know what i mean uh i've always been a creality fan but i've never been the type that will just close my eyes and blindly follow a company so if Creality does stuff that I don't appreciate and they do it to the extent that, you know, is big enough to where, you know, I have a problem with it, then I have no problem switching brands. I will never blindly follow a brand. And uh, but for for now, they have my business because they're open source. Their machines are top tier um, and I've never had a single issue with them. So the good outweighs the bad for me. So. I'm curious to see what you bamboo people are going to do. You know, are you going to back bamboo? Are you going to stand behind them and, and turn, the, turn the, the blind eye? Or are you going to fight back? I've never understood buying a closed source machine. But, you know, uh, some people, they, they just, they don't care about using different stuff. They're okay with whatever comes with the machine. And they're cool with that, you know. And for those groups... Uh, they probably won't even care about this until that really cool subscription model pops up and then all they have to, all they can do is buy that filament and then it just happens to be thirty dollars a roll versus you know eighteen fifteen nineteen dollars a roll like typical filament uh, so you know until until it starts hitting people's pocketbooks I don't see people you know doing too much you know because 
everybody just thinks like, oh, it's going to go away. But no, Bamboo has done this in a calculated way. And uh, they've had this closed source from the very beginning. And, you know, it's for a reason, guys. <laughs> it's not just because, you know, they want to, you know, just be private or protect your security or you know, I don't believe that this is for security for one minute. I believe that it's always been about being closed source with a greater plan down the road. You know, we're going to offer these printers at a decent price. It's going to be good quality. And, you know, we might not make a bunch now, but just wait and see what we do later. And that's why they've always kept it closed source. You know, why else would they be closed source? Just think about it. Why else would they be closed source software and and want so much control over their printer after you've already sold it you know like what like why do you still want so much control you've sold it the deal's over now it's on the user to enjoy the machine right but you really can't enjoy it in certain ways because they've still got their hand in your back pocket you know and now they're about to put two hands in your back pocket so you know they're doubling down on it and you know it's going to be interesting um I'm definitely going to be staying up to date on the 3D printing world and the news. And uh, I'm anxious to see, you know, what they do and what you guys do. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. You guys let me know in the comments, like, what do you think is going to happen? What What's your plan if you're a Bamboo user? What are you going to do? Uh, are you switching to Creality and, or are you switching to another open source printer? Are you getting away from Bamboo? I mean, I would highly suggest getting away from any closed source printer whether it's bamboo or any any anybody it doesn't matter just get an open source printer so you have control over your life <laughs> all right guys we'll see you next time uh i'm gonna be giving away a couple of more uh discount cards for the uh k2 plus i have another 300 and another 500 card so i'll be giving those away here soon so make sure you're subscribed make sure you have on notifications and Join the Patreon so you're automatically entered into any giveaway that we do. Uh, that way you don't miss anything. So we'll see you next time. And as always, stay ready to 3D print.